So, Mr. Sams, what state of matter are ionic compounds? Solid at room temperature. Always solid at room temperature. Could you yeah. ever make them a liquid? Um, you could make them a liquid. You'd have to heat them up really, 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 yeah. really, 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 really hot. I think the melting point of sodium chloride is in the neighborhood of 3,000 Kelvin. It's something like lot. that. So it's really hot. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, so here's some uh, properties. So let's talk about each of these. You may just want to pause the video and then jot these down. You do need to jot them down. Yeah. But we already kind of talked about that. They have high melting point. That means they're solids. Right. And that's because there's a very strong attraction between the positive and negative ions. Remember that when we had, let's say we had the calcium. I think I was calcium. We didn't honestly say it. And we say you got the O negative 2. That negative uh, attraction for the positive is a very strong bond. Mm -hmm. They don't conduct electricity when solid. So if you no. like stick a... Um, Conductivity meter or something. Or, you know, I just stick an ionic compound in an electric socket. You won't get hurt unless it's wet. True. Don't try I wouldn't recommend it. but <laughs> <laughs> So because the electrons can't move. Right. The electrons they're, they're are fixed, fixed on those ions. However, um, if you heat them up to their molten state, to yes. where they become a liquid, then they do conduct electricity. So don't pour molten um, sodium you're, chloride you're into at, your You're ahead of the game, Mr. Sands. That, of course, is what I say here. Oh, hey, look at that. C good conductors when dissolved or liquid. Yes. Yeah. So dissolved meaning dissolved in water. So like if you take salt and you mm -hmm. put it in water, it dissolves, right? Yeah. And it tastes it's salty water. Mm -hmm. It tastes nasty. Um, so you that conducts electricity really well. Yeah. And you'll learn about that later in the year yeah, solutions, um, on yeah. solutions and stuff. Yep. Um, and um, they're also brittle and hard. And so you saw that when I was... Uh, Messing around with them, that they are they're brittle. That means mm -hmm. they can shatter very easily, yeah. and that's again because of their strong bonds. Um, what causes them to attract? I think we've already yeah. addressed opposites this. Opposites attract. Positive yeah. attracts negative. Yeah, opposites attract. Right. That's the key thing to understand here. Opposites attract. Opposite charged. A tarked. A tarked. Yeah, they're <laughs> tarked. Hey, they're tarked. we want to just do one uh, quick thing: is how would you draw a Lewis structure of a particular? Couple examples. Yeah, of an ionic of compound. Of an ionic compound. So yeah. let's let's do something relatively easily. We'll do calcium and then chlorine. Okay. Now calcium, if you um, were to draw his Lewis structure, has two valence electrons. Okay. Now chlorine. Now I'm looking at the periodic table. How many valence electrons would that it have? Has seven. Valence so use electrons. that chart that we did in a previous podcast. So he's got seven. That's now six. And I've got six, thank you. So, is anybody happy? Um, no. They, they want, want eight. eight. So the calcium, he can give away one. Right. And he's made the chlorine happy. The chlorine happy. is happy, but calcium still has the extra one. Hmm. So what do we, we do? Let's, have, let's throw another chlorine in the but mix. But if you take right. another chlorine in the mix, you see, you could, this kind of determines the ratios, in fact. Yeah. This electron can go to the other chlorine. Oh, okay. And so then you'll have calcium with a plus two charge and no electrons. Right. Remember, zero equals eight. eight. And then you've got chlorine now with eight electrons each. Actually, it's not chlorine, but... Oh, it's chloride because it has a minus one charge. Because the minus one charge is um, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there. that's it. So it's like kind of a series of two pictures. You show the, um, the element symbol, like calcium over here, with the number of dots. Mm -hmm. You show the arrows motion moving, and then you just kind of show this, and then the opposites will attract. attract. Yeah. Let's the next one do iron three oxide. Now we haven't exactly learned about what that three means. It means that it's got three valence electrons. So iron is Fe, and there are three electrons on it. Right. Now how I got that, it's Don't a little confusing. Yeah. Iron is right here on the periodic table. And he sometimes think, ha he has three and sometimes he has two. Yeah. How that is is Don't a worry discussion about it. for later. Mm -hmm. But the other chemical is oxygen or actually oxide but if you look at oxygen on our uh, table for valence electrons there's six valence electrons All so right. if I were to draw six valence you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a little different I'm going to do X's then it's easier to know where the oxygen okay. the atom, atoms or electrons move okay oh I'm drawing extras I shouldn't That's show right. you that so um, is the oxygen happy no he wants two more he wants two more so if but he, iron has iron has give. some to give him so he can give two of them but you see, unfortunately, the iron is still unhappy. He's got one additional one. Yeah. And so he can give one of them to a second oxygen. But now the but oxygen is Now the happy. oxygen is happy. So we can have another ion. Okay. With his three dots. Hey, look. He can give one he of He can give dots. one here. And now the iron's still unhappy, right? Mm -hmm. But if we so do another oxygen. With his uh, six. six X's, right? Guess what? He can give away his Those two, two electrons. Now all the irons are happy because zero happy. equals eight, yeah. and all the oxygens are happy because they all have eight. eight. 
So, so it's electron. like this. You've got Fe. Um, each of them lost three, three electrons, so plus three. Yep, yep. And then each oxygen has eight electrons. I'll put six as X's and two as dots. They came from the iron. They came from the iron, right? right? The, the, I mean, electrons and electrons. So th this is just for our sort of accounting purposes that I'm drawing them this way. But two of them came from the irons, and then the six of them belong to them. And so this is the two pictures that illustrate why the bonds work. All right. All right. That's I it for this podcast. Yeah. Not much there. You'll be doing some examples like this in your homework.